Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very, How are you? Very well. I'm fine, and you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So Thank basically, uh, today's online training class, I will focus only for the precipitation. Okay. I also try to discuss okay. all of the pre uh, precipitation <clears throat> data set. Then how we can easily make the time series chart and how to make the ma map, the different types of data set, how we can easily use this data set and make the times, uh, different types of precipitation map. So in this time, I also okay. try to discuss all of the precipitation data set and then I also try to make the map. And you can also try to use the same code for your mapping your own uh, area. Okay, then you can also check mm -hmm. what's the problem for the data set for mm -hmm. the precipitation. Okay. So let's go. We will so try to start our okay. today's class. So, okay, please. Yeah, I want to share with you small my concern about the the result I got for. Okay, so if you want, you can also share sh share your skin. No problem. Yeah. You can share your skin, and then I also so try to check. It yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can share your skin. Uh, okay. Then I check what is the problem with your data set. Yeah. Then we can yes. try this. Yeah. So now it's sharing. Yeah. Okay. I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was, I'm starting yesterday. I think yeah, yesterday to to make my data to make the to, your voice to, is very low. Get the result. My network. Yeah. So now okay. Yeah. Okay, I was saying that I'm starting getting my results through those things, those things that I, in this, I did for, uh, let me save this. Uh, okay, I did for droughts. Severity index, it, yeah. It was, yes, it was okay. I did for yeah. wind speed also. It was okay. Yeah. But my problem is is uh, where here, yeah. So ETR in our so you what's yeah. the problem you face in here? Uh, the problem is what uh, when you uh, let me show you the results. Okay, uh, I see. This is the result and the values. Yeah. And the value is here. But when I register, when I, if I export, if I export the map, the result is different. No, it's not ATR, but ATA, please. Okay, so in this time, you see, yeah, okay. For, for example, here, you see, I'm not sure that the result of ATA, the, the, the value should be less than ATR. Because if you see the result here, if you see the result, then uh, okay, you see the result. For example, we have uh, 100. Uh, 12, 125, but the results in this time, in map, this time, you can see here you add a map, yeah. okay? So you want to add a map, you can see uh, the time period is that uh, from 1991 to 2021. This time period, yes. you want to create the this map, and in this time, what's yes. the reducer are you want to use here? Do you want to use the mean reducer or other? Yes, the, I use the mean. Yeah. So that's why that's that's why in this time here you can get yeah. the map. This map is represented the mean result between the year of two thousand uh, ninety ninety one to two thousand twenty one. Between this time yeah, period, sure. you can get the mean result. But when you want to see your time series chart, this time series yeah. chart is represented is single year. Okay, you can simply go to yes. the time series chart. You can get, check the result for the time series chart. This uh, time series yeah, chart example, is represented for the, I think this is the month, uh, year uh, yearly or 
Yes. Or yeah, how, yes. how many interval time periods? No, no, it's in? monthly. It's monthly, monthly. What is the time 2000... interval? You say? What is the time interval? Uh, this time three chart. You can uh, simply go. 90, 90, 1991 to two, uh, 2021. Yeah, but what is the time series of the data set? You can simply go to this uh, data set information, then you can check it. What is the interval or how many time you want to need? You, yeah, simply go to the information sheet. Click here. Yeah. 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 So this you can simply you can see monthly. You can see the track climate, yes. monthly climate. So when you want to yes. use this data set, you can get the monthly average result. So here you can see you can simply download the CSV file format from here. From the chart, you can download the CSV file format. Then you can simply open yes. the CSV file format. Then you can check what is the data set time interval. You can see this time interval is that uh, monthly. Yeah. So it, you can get the first, yeah. But the problem is, you see the ATA and the ATR. I have used the same, the same data set, the same source. Yeah. But if uh, you see the map here, you see the value of ATR. ATR is so here. It, it's not, uh, this value is not working the same value because in this time you download the tip image, this tip image is represented the mean result between the 1991 to 2021 okay so yes. it created the mean pixel value okay yes. and showing the pixel value in here so it's totally mean pixel value or average pixel value okay so yes. that's why it not mass yes. but when you want to work with the yearly suppose you want to need the year of only for the image year of 2021 only for the 2021 then you can also get yes. the uh, chart you can get the same uh, same uh, result or same value, pixel value you can get. But in this time, here you can get the tip image. This tip image is that average pixel value result between the year of 1991 to 2021, this time period. Okay? Yes, yes. So when you want to work with a single year, then you can get the same result. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you get my, my problem, my concern. You see the data, the value here, yeah. 130. Eh? For that, for this map, let me on this. Is, for this map, you see, yeah. this is the map. And the uh, the charts I I got have the same value also. So I can say that the result is, is good. Okay, because I so, have 130. Okay, so this also, TP mess, this TP mess. Here, this TP image, do you uh, max or not using a shape file in ArcMap software? Yes. No, no, I, I didn't make my extract map. This is the. the so the yeah, here, here you can I... see the black portion, yeah. black pixel value. When you yeah, want to yeah, max I this, then black portion, uh, black part is also removed. Okay. Yes, I didn't. I, I, I'm going to do it. I don't do it yet. I'm going to remove the mask. I'll, I, I'll do it after. But me, I want just to show you the result, the value here. I don't, I don't know why the value here increase your uh, volume. Your value. sound is very low. It's okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So very slowly, but I hear you. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say that I don't know why the value here is different from the one I got in the charts. See the chart, the chart for ATA is here. You see, you can see 149 and one uh, and so on and so. But if you uh, wanted to export the, uh, the, the map, you realize that the, the value is too slow, uh, too, uh, the value is, is low, you see? Hard, yeah. But for this, yes, yes, for ATR, ATR is not like that. Let me show you the ATR. You see, ATR, ATR, you see, you see the value here. We have the, the value, the value is, is, is good, is the same here. 
to 100. That's yeah. why I was surprised when, when I got the, the map here. The map, you see the value is different. The value is, should be, the value here should be also 100 something here, here. But I just got a 71 to 79. Then I, that's why I, I don't know if it's correct or not. I'm not sure. But they, I've used the same data. That's my my problem, my concern. I did, you see, I did for all. I did for this. Uh, I did for, you see, tip, uh, this is a max, yeah. So if you get the yeah, max pixel from here, yeah. Yeah, temperature. I did for also mean. You see, yeah. this, this one is mean. I did it for a uh, uh, wind speed. Wind, wind speed, speed, yeah. Is here. Yeah. I wait for drought. Drought is here. PDSA, all yeah. those are correct. Yeah, all those are correct. I don't have problem here. And also then soil moisture, yeah. Yes, yeah, soil moisture. Soil moisture is so here. it's it, it's it has the so, problem only for the ETA, this data set, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. So you can also send me this uh code link. I also check this code link and try to uh, find out the okay. problem. So basically in okay. this time, uh I hope you can also in this time, this TP image is represented the average uh, result between the 1991 to 2021. Yes. You download yes. it, okay? But yes. uh, you also want to check here the uh, yearly. This chart is uh, represented only for the yearly or no. monthly interval. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah, why it takes some. You can send me simply click to the get link button and send me the link. I also check it. So what the problem? Okay, okay. Let's what, yeah. Let me send you the link of ETA. You can see the get link button in here. Okay. Uh, not here. You can see the uh, beside the save button. Let me run and see. Simply check, uh, get the link. I'll just check it. Not yeah. here. No, no. Simply click on the get link button. Get link button. Here. No, here. You can see the uh, beside the save button, simply click the get link. Not uh, to, to copy the, the link. Yeah, so key, uh, simply click on the get link. You can see get link. I uh, don't get where is the first line. You can see save, run, reset, apps. Yeah, get link. Not here. You can see the get link button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple, link. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, click here. Yeah. Not click yeah, here. Click. Get link button. Yeah, click here, get yeah, link. Yeah. yeah. And simply copy okay, so to I link. Copy. Yeah. Simply copy and send me. Yeah. Okay, then it okay. okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Then send me this link. Oh, I also check this. Mm -hmm. What is the problem okay, for uh, how it will be not messing? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so you, you, see, you, you should have something like 100 something here, but it's too small oh, the, the the first one is not like that that's okay. why since i was trying to, to do okay it, you can send me this i'll just check it no problem mm, okay mm. so let me uh, stop my screen sharing Okay. okay, I have to check it, no problem. So in this time, I simply start my today's class for the precipitation measurement using the satellite mission. So I simply okay. share my screen. Okay, so now can you see my skin? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so in this time, I will try to discuss some precipitation data set uh, from uh, different types of precipitation data set and how we can easily use the data set and make the map. Okay, so in this okay. time, you can see uh, here I already opened some precipitation data set. First data set is that uh, Charles data set. So this is the climate mm -hmm. hazard group infrared precipitation with station data. So basically, mm -hmm. this data set is the uh, painted data set. We can get the data set okay. every interval, five day interval. We can get the data set 
and you can see this data set availability date you can get the data set from 1981 from 2021 07 this is our uh, time period we can get the data set and uh, data set yeah, provided is, is, is that is you can see me. ucsb okay so this is the data set provider and this is the artisan snippet mm -hmm. from here okay so mm -hmm. also you can check the description about this data set this data set is that uh, climate hazard group infrared precipitation with the station data is 30 years okay. years we can get the easily 30 years of satellite uh, rainfall data set from this data set and uh, this data set uh, is also integrated with the ground station data so when you want to use the data set you can also get the ground station data set it is the combination of ground station data set as well as satellite remote sensing data set also combined and make the charts data okay and this data set is the painted and if you want you can also get the daily okay so you can see this is the daily data set and uh, when you want to use the daily data set you can get the every single day precipitation data okay and also you can see this is another data set it's called the painted data set and this is the same data set but this is the painted data set uh, we can get the data set uh, every five days interval time period okay, okay? We can get the data set every five days interval time period data set and uh, also you can see if you want you can easily need the monthly rainfall data set painted data set yearly data set okay you can easily make the different types of rainfall data set. suppose you want to make the time series chart for rainfall uh for precipitation okay. or rainfall you want to make the rainfall monthly data set you want to need for yearly so yearly monthly okay. data set you want to need so then you can simply use the data set and you can easily work with this data set and get the uh, precipitation data. Okay, so in this time, suppose okay. I want to uh, work with this data set and I want to make the precipitation map for the Bangladesh and also make the time series chart, uh, make the time series chart for the uh, monthly annual time series chart, monthly annual time series chart I want to create. Okay, so then you also try to show uh, data. So uh, then we also try to discuss about the TRM and data. Uh, also gpm data we also try to discuss about the other two types of data set then i also in this time also try to show you the practical example about the data set how you can easily make the uh, annual time series chart you can see this data set is a painted okay but i want to make yeah. the monthly annual time series chart this data set you provide you the data as a five day interval but i want to make the time series chart so that this data set is provide the time series chart according to the monthly yearly okay suppose january february march april like this i want to need that rainfall data set i want to use the data set i want to create it the monthly rainfall data set okay so i simply open my um, code editor and then try to uh, open a new tab okay so in this time i want to mm -hmm. work with this painted data set and want to make the time series chart okay so for this first of all i simply uh, import my shape file so in this here i simply import my shape file suppose uh, here i already imported my shape file suppose i want to work with the bangladesh region i want to observe the what is the condition of the rainfall for the bangladesh uh, a specific time period i want to make the time series chart of yearly time series chart so for this i simply import the bangladesh shape file okay so i simply put the name is that suppose this name is that i can simply put the name is that roi okay and then i simply put the um, i want to show the layer for the my shape file layer i simply use that the map dot add layer and then i simply use that the roi and also mm -hmm. use at the map center object for focusing center of the shape file map center object map center object with my roi and then put here the 10 and then click the run so now i can easily get the my shape file and i want to need the precipitation map for my area of bangladesh and i want to make the time series chart okay annual time series chart in this time here you can see i in this time I also need to import my shape file uh, data set. 
So here you can see this is my data set. Uh, I want to use the painted data set. Okay. If you want, you can also use here the daily data set. No problem. I want to use the painted data set. Mm -hmm. So I simply copy okay. this art engine snippet from here and then simply paste in my code editor. And just put a variable name. Suppose this variable name is that I simply put the variable name is that uh charts. Okay, I simply put the variable name is the charts. Okay, so in this time, I want to uh, set here my start date and end year, start and end year. So I simply put the comment like this, suppose start and end year. How, how, what is my time duration? I want to check the data. I simply take a variable. Okay. Suppose this variable name is that uh, start year, sorry, start. Variable name is that I simply put the start year, okay. And I simply use here the suppose I want to observe from the year of uh, 2011. From I also put the in date. Suppose I put the in uh, year, okay. So start year and in year I simply put here the year of 2020, okay. So this is my observation time period, okay. okay. So in this time I want to make a date object. I want to make a date object. So I want to make the date object. So I want to make the date object. So how we can easily make the date object? So in this time, I simply get a variable. I put the variable name is the suppose a start date. And then I simply use here the ee dot date. Then I simply put here the from year month day. YMD. Year month day in this time here you can see okay. i can get here the year then month then day i simply put here the year suppose i simply call my start year i simply copy this variable name and paste here start year okay then i simply put here the month so i simply put here the month is that i simply put the month it will be start i want to need the data suppose uh all of the january month suppose I want to need the data year of 2011 for January, 2012 for January, 2013 for the January, 2014 for the January, 2015 for the January, and up to 2020 for January. So I simply put here the, suppose, uh, January. So one is the January. And also need to the a day for the first, okay, first January. Okay, for first January, year of 2011, for first January, okay. Uh, uh, for year of 2012 okay so for 1st january mm -hmm. year of 2013 like this data set i want to need suppose you want to need the february you can simply put here the two suppose you want to need the data set for the february uh 20 you can simply put here the date here a specific date and a specific uh month you can put here okay and i simply mm -hmm. it's not i simply know it's on this one i simply know of it okay Okay, so then I also need to create it here the uh, in date. So I simply take a variable and give the variable name is that suppose this variable name is the in date. Okay, and then I create the object ee dot date, and I simply use at the from from ymd. Then I simply put here my year. Year is that in year. Yes. The first year. In this time, I want to add here the plus one. So I simply put here the plus sign, plus one. So in this time, this in year also add here the one year. Suppose year of 2011, it also add the plus one, so it will be 2012. Okay. Then I simply mm -hmm. use here the month. Month is the January. And day is the same past date, past January. And I simply remove it. It's not needed for this time. In this time, I simply set my object, date object. In this date object, you can uh, according to your own data set. Suppose you want to need the data every year for the February or for the January, for the April, for the May. What time you want to need? You can simply put this uh, uh, month. Okay. So one is represented January. Mm -hmm. 2 is represented okay. for the February, Th 3 is represented for the March, and up to 12 okay. is the December, okay? So in this time, I want to 
make a list i want to make a list with yards so i want to make a list with now, yards please so, yeah if 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 i want for the whole periods from 2011 to 2020 so uh, i have to remove plus one yeah if just simply remove this then also try to work so it will be all so in this time i want to select a specific year okay, a specific okay, month yes. a specific time okay okay okay, okay I see. so in this time i want to make a list with years so i simply uh, make a list with years so i simply take a variable suppose put the variable name is the years and then i simply uh, make here the ee -E dot list uh, dot sequence sequence and then i simply call here the start and end date so i simply copy the start date i simply paste here and in it i simply copy and paste here in it okay then i simply remove okay. it it's not it for this time so in this time suppose i want to print this i want to just simply print this year what i want to get you can see i simply mm -hmm. copy and paste here and click to the run in this time we can check okay so it's showing that list sequence argument start okay so it will be just a start year so i simply copy the start year i want to make the year list okay so i simply start year mm -hmm. and in year and okay then click to the run so now we can check <clears throat> okay so here you can see we can get the total uh 10 okay mm. so year of 2011 to 2020 so this is my observation mm. every single mm. year okay mm. so in this time i want to just add my time every single year uh for this year for this year suppose 2011 i want to need that precipitation data for the month of first mm. january 2012 mm. i need the first january 2013 i need the first january 14 i want to need the first january 15 first january and up to 20 i need the first january what is the precipitation or rainfall condition okay in this time okay. in this time i need to calculate the annual precipitation okay so in this time i want to need make a annual precipitation okay so annual precipitation when you want to make then you need to work with the annual precipitation so in this time you can see this map this data set is the panted okay this data set yes, is yes. not uh, yearly or annually yes. you did not get the data from this uh, data set so that's why you need to convert the data set into annual annual collection mm -hmm. so in this time you can simply do this so first of all i simply take a variable suppose uh, this variable name is the annual annual uh, precipitation so i simply put the annual precip in this time i simply when you want to convert any data set from uh, annually or any image collection you want to convert from one uh, time period to another time period then we can simply use a function this function called the ee dot image image dot image uh, collection so image collection dot from image okay image image okay in this time here you can get all of the argument in this time i want to uh, in this time i want to just make a function i want to make a function in here so that this function is created so that this function is created a annual collection okay so for this yeah. i want to make the annual collection according to my annual uh, year so which year i want to add here so I simply call the year. So I simply yeah. copy this variable and paste here. Paste here. In this time, I want to add a function. I want to make a function. And this function I want to add with my years. Okay. So that's why I simply mm -hmm. use a map function. Map function. And then I simply uh, use a parenthesis. And then I simply use the function. Okay. In this function, I want to put the element name is the year. Okay. And then I simply use the curly bracket. 
in this curly bracket, I want to put my argument. So in this time, okay. my argument is that I want to take a variable and according to this variable, I want to make a calendar range. I want to make a calendar range. So that's why this calendar range is get the data set for annually. Okay. So I simply okay. take a variable. Suppose uh, put the variable name is the annual. Okay. Then I simply call the charts data set. So you can see this chart data set is stored in a variable. Uh, this variable you can see. My data set is stored in this variable. This data set is the parented. But in this time I want to make the annual. So I simply copy okay. the variable charts and then simply paste here. Okay. After this, in this time, I want to use here the filter function. So I simply use here the filter. Then how I can filter? I want to filter according to the calendar range. So I simply use here the e dot filter dot um, calendar calendar range. Okay. And in this time here you can see calendar range is that we can need to use at the start in field. So in this time I simply put at the start uh, it is a year because I want to need the okay. yearly. So I simply use at the year okay. and year is can you can see what is the year. Year, year is my uh, element name. Okay. So I simply use at the okay. element name year. Also int also year. Okay. And then okay. I simply use at the field. My field is that okay. year. So I simply use at yes. the year. Okay, so I simply put the year. In this time, I want to, uh, after filtering, I need to add here the total. Suppose uh, yearly total uh, precipitation result. Yearly total precipitation result. So that's why I simply use a function. It's called the sum function. Okay, so it calculated the yearly total result. Okay. After all of the yes. things. If, yeah. if, you want to, if you want to do the mean, you add mean. Yeah, so suppose when you want to use at the max, then you can get the annually max or okay. maximum result. Yeah, when you yeah. want to use at the mean, then you can get the annually okay. uh, minimum result. Okay, so in this okay. time, I want to need for the result for the total precipitation, annual precipitation. I want to ma make the time series chart for the total precipitation. I want to need the total okay. rainfall data. Okay, so I okay. simply use at the sum. And then I just simply use at the return function. I want to return with the annual, annual, with the annual, and then in this time I need to set here, I need to set uh, the year, so I need to set the, my key and value. So in this time, my key is that I simply put here the year, and value is also same for the year, okay? And then I simply use here the another set, and then I also set here the system time start. System time start. As well as I also put here the date format. Uh, date object is that ee dot date dot from year month day. Then I simply put here the date format is that year. Then first January, then first, I simply use here the first. Okay, so basically, this is the function. So mainly when you want to uh, create any annual collection, not only for the precipitation, suppose you, mm -hmm. yeah, you have the some NDVI data, and this NDVI data is the eight day interval or other things, but you want to need the data set as a monthly, or you want to need the data set is the annually, annually you want to need. So then you can simply put at the e annually for the year. You can simply put the year year. Okay. And okay. what's the year you want to suppose you want to need the data set for the monthly. Then you can simply uh, first of all you need to select your month, which month uh, you want to need like this. And you can simply use at the this month variable name and also put at the month and also put at the all of the mm -hmm. things will be month uh, instead of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can get the monthly image collection. In this time, I want to need the annual image collection. So that's why I simply use the annual image collection. Okay.
okay so i want to create this image collection so let's let's go i just simply uh print this and check what is the what i want to get from here so i simply just print and just click to the run you can see when i click to here feature i want to click to here properties properties here you can see year 2011 okay and you can see yeah. ban is the precipitation okay so when i also you can see start time it will be start for the year of 2011 first january when i click to here you can see 2012 uh, first january you can see okay when i want to click okay. to here you can see i want to get the 2013 uh first january when i click to here you can see i want to get the 2014 first january so in this time i want to get my data set i want to create my data frame according to my result suppose in this time i want to need the time series chart for precision for the annually month time series suppose i want to need the year of 2011 first january 2012 first january 2013 1st january 2014 1st january so you can see i want to create the data set according to my required you can see for the year of 2015 1st january for the year of 2016 1st january for the year of uh, 2017 1st january so all of the things here you can see i want to get according to my required time suppose okay. you want to need the february you can simply change here uh, then you simply put here the two then you can get the first february so any time period you can easily change and then you can easily uh, get the all of the data set in here so in this time i want to create my data frame and i want to make the time series chart for annually annual time series chart okay so first of all i want to show the result in my map suppose i want to add here okay. i want to create the collection image collection i want to create annual image collection i want to create okay annual image collection in this time i want to show the okay. annual image collection result in my map okay so for this uh, okay. I simply take a variable. Suppose variable name is that uh, annual mean. In this time, I want to calculate the average result. All of the data set, I want to calculate mm -hmm. the average result. So I simply call the annual precipitation, this variable, just copy and then simply paste here. And then I simply use a function. It's called the mean function. And then it's also clip with my shape file. And my shape file name is that you can see uh, ry right. and then simply paste here i want to just showing the layer is that um, map dot add layer and then i simply just call the name annual mean this is my final object and paste here and click to the run so in this time you can see we can get the uh, precipitation map for bangladesh uh, for the annual image collection year of 2011 to 2020 okay in this time you can say i did not get the proper result uh, because i did not add the visualization okay mm -hmm. in this time i want yes. to add the visualization so for the visualization i just simply uh, just copy their color code from here so I just simply copy. Okay, so then I simply paste in my code editor. Just I simply copy the variable name and just paste after the object name. And click to the run. So now you can see what happened. okay so you can see this map is also not so good looking okay so in this time i want to add here the visualization parameter value so that's why this map is look good and i can easily identify where is the rainfall is the high and low okay. so for this i can simply change here the value so suppose uh, what is the value i want to use here uh, there is a nothing any uh, any uh, for the any specific value it's not available so i simply use at the mean value suppose for the bangladesh perspective the mean uh, value uh, precipitation is that 
1292 millimeter and then i also put here the up to suppose uh, 5000 okay so i simply put here the 5000 and then click to the run so in this time we can get the colorful map for we can easily identify where is the rainfall is the high and low okay so you can say i can get this result and we can easily identify this portion is the high rainfall in bangladesh yes. okay yes. also you can see this portion okay and uh, this portion is the low okay so it this portion is the moderate okay so you can see this is our map but this map is created using the painted data five interval yes. data set but in this time this map what map you want to show this map is the annual collection every annual collection of january month of january total uh, year of 2011 to 2020 total 10 year data set this created this map okay so this is my map i want to check the value just a minute so i simply uh, click on the inspector tab and click on this portion you can see what is the condition of the rainfall we can get the 4982 okay and also click to here you can see we can get the low value 1471 precipitation is the unit is that millimeter here you can see this unit is yes. that millimeter okay so millimeter mm -hmm. painted okay but in this time mm -hmm. i want to convert the painted and get the yearly or annually result according to my time period and in this time you can see this image is showing for the mean result or average pixel value between uh, from all of the year all of the year of month of january all of the year month of january okay i, mm -hmm. I can get the result okay so this is my precipitation map i can simply download this map and i can easily uh work with uh, uh, if you want you can also export the any single year image suppose you want to need the image for the year of 2000 only for the 2011 first january you want to need this map you can also create this no problem suppose you want to need the map only for the year of 2012 in this time this map is showing the total average pixel value from the year of 2011 to 2020 okay so this is a total 10 years so here i can get total 10 years okay this 10 years data set created this map 10 years average result suppose you want to need for the not need the average result you want to need for the every single year of month of january precipitation map you want to need so you can also easily create this map from here okay so in this time i also try to show you that how you can easily make the time series chart so in this time this time series chart is represented the uh, rainfall okay so rainfall of bangladesh for every month uh, of january from year of 2011 to 2020 okay so i want to get the value for year of 2011 first january i want to get the value for year of 2012 first january i want to get the value year of 2013 first january i want to get the value 2015 first january when i want to make the time uh, time series chart so basically this is the bar column chart in this time i want to create the bar column chart so that i want to easily get the chart and easily get the data set okay so let's go in this time also try to show you that so in this time if you have any question okay. or any doubt about this you can ask me any question for the image collection how we uh, created the image collection or other question if you have any any question you can ask me any question or any doubt uh not yet i think it can continue yeah hmm. okay okay so i also send you this practice code so you can also try to apply this code to your own region so then face any problem hmm. then you can also contact with me and you can also try to hmm. use here the different time period different month okay then also check what condition you want to get Okay, so in okay. this time, I want to create the time series chart of the uh, for calculating the measurement of each year of January for the each uh, annual. Suppose year of 2011, what is the co condition of the precipitation? Year of 2012, month of January, what is the condition of precipitation? I want to easily observe from the time series chart. So in this time, I also try to show you this time series chart, how we can easily make the time series chart for calculating the annual image collection. So let's go. Okay.